Hey guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming. So something showed up on my radar last night, Game Corp DX. As a matter of fact, I think it was on the top of the Steam charts last night because it was a total of $2.96 Canadian, which I think is like, what, 10 cents American? I don't know. <laughs> Exchange rates, right? Anyway, so <laughs> um, that's why I was at the top of Steam charts because it was $2.96. And also, it's actually really super fun. So for those of you that follow me and that have been following my channel for a long time, you probably already know that I have a secret love of Game Dev Tycoon because it's actually a really good game and it's pretty easy on the brain. It's about as casual as I like to go, but it's still really good. Um, I think Game Corp DX is will fit in that same category for me. It satisfies those same kind of desires. It's it's a li it's light gameplay, but it still has some some good management things that you have to keep track of, and it's it doesn't take itself quite as seriously as Software Inc. But it still has some good strategy components included in it. So we're gonna I'm gonna show off this game a little bit today. I've only played it for a little bit. I think I played it for a total of, let me look here, <laughs> 1.8 hours. So I haven't played it very long at all. Um, but long enough to know that it's I think it's gonna be it's gonna be hit. So today we're just gonna do a first look on it, and you can, you know, judge for yourself whether it's worthy of something that you might be interested in, but it's definitely something that I like already, and I'm hoping that the game play improves as I go on. I'm not necessarily gonna to make this into a series unless enough people say hey let's make this a series or you should make this a series and then you know of course i'll make it a series but for purposes today we're just going to do some gameplay so sit back and enjoy <laughs> very cool print endless loop studios <laughs> very cool Yes, yeah, so the developer is Endless Loop Studios. I know absolutely nothing about them. Usually when I do intros or new games on my channel, I do a whole bunch of research beforehand. I've done nothing! Um, uh, this is totally about gameplay today. I'm not interested in, well, I am interested in the company, of course. I just haven't spent the time to do any research at all. Um, if And in case I didn't mention it already, I'm sure people have already guessed it, but this is about designing video games. It's about starting a company that designs video games. And there's a few games like this on the market. There's Game Dev Story. There is Game Dev Tycoon. There is uh, Software Inc. There is a whole bunch. And uh, Software Inc. is actually probably the closest to this uh, that I can associate. But of course, the art style is, is way more simplistic. And of course, the gameplay is way more simplistic and is not nearly as many charts and and numbers. And that's okay. I, I like Software Inc. too. I haven't featured it on the channel just because I think it needs a little bit more work before it ends up on the channel. I do like it, but it's way more complex. Like this is, I would say this is this is pretty casual by comparison. But it's still, there's still a lot to it, but it's pretty casual by comparison. So let's start a brand new game. Um, I, I Like I said, I haven't played a lot of this, um, so I, I haven't even been able to open up challenges yet. So to play the challenges, we have to reach San Francisco on the campaign mode to unlock challenge mode. I have not gotten that far. Um, so yeah, I kind of like, I do like to feature games when they're fresh and I haven't uh, been you know, spoiled by the game. In other words, I haven't played too much of it yet. I, I think that's always fun. Yeah, I can never find the right, like, what is this? What kind of icon, like, who would have a studio icon like this? Like, what is that? Is that an upside down, is it a cat? Is it an upside down, an upside down cat? That's what it looks like. Or Japanese lettering or something. Anyway, that's, if there was anything I would change, I want better icons. Um, There we go. I will go with the moon because it reminds me of Lucky Charms. Me Lucky Charms! All right, so we're gonna go Deluxe Gaming. Of course we're gonna be Deluxe Gaming. That's what we're gonna use. And we're gonna do difficulty hard. So normal is fair and fun. I, you know what? I I like to push the envelope. Idle workers are bankruptcy waiting to happen. So fantastic, let's just start the game. And this is our brand new company. Yay, look at this. So we've got uh, four desks, a water cooler, a fridge, a table, and a plant. It's always important to have a plant and four walls and some floors and a door. <laughs> and of course, it comes with a tutorial. The campaign comes with a tutorial. You can quit it. And there's reasons why you would quit it because it can be a bit of a disadvantage at the beginning. We'll talk about it in a second. Um, howdy, I'm your assistant and I'm here to help you create the best game development studio ever. In order to get your studio up and running, you need workers, so let's hire some. Uh, click on an empty workstation and we have the option to hire people. That, and now you have the option of that you always have three people available to you every day. Now, if I hire one of these guys, that slot is going to re remain open until tomorrow where we will receive three new people that are applying for jobs. Now, this is this is this is a good thing 
Um, I don't mind that, except the tutorial forces us to hire two people right away. So we can't wait a day. So if there's somebody here we don't like, that doesn't matter. We have to hire them. So he'll want us to hire two people. So let's go over this really quickly. So first off, skill-wise, everybody, as far as I can tell in the game, everybody always starts off with no skills. Maybe later on the, later on the game that's different. I don't know. Because you look at James here. Um, he has no coding skill. See, is that coding skill. This is their art skill, the sound skill, and their writing skill. And of course, this is the cost to hire the worker. And of course, he's wearing a cool little top hat. So how could I not like James? Now, there's something else to note here. They can have either positive or negative traits. They can have no traits at all. In this case, James has no traits at all, which is fine. I'm perfectly fine with that. However, Morgan has a negative trait. Late arrives later than usual. <laughs> oh, that would drive me crazy. And it looks like Christopher K also arrives later than usual. He's wearing a cool hat, but... I, and I'm gonna have to hire two guys here anyway. We're gonna hire James. Yeah, he's got a weird shirt with a top hat, but whatever. Now do the same thing and hire another worker for the second workstation. So that becomes their permanent workstation in the game. So hire worker. All right, so now we've, we've got, now we're left with two of those guys. Like I said, it will not refresh until tomorrow. So we have to hire one of these guys. One of them's gonna be arriving late every day. And I would be really annoyed with a guy that is wearing a top hat and a suit that arrives late every day. I, I would think he's just pompous and arrogant and thinks too much of himself. At least this guy looks like, you know, it's kind of a, I don't know, kind of a dweeb that hangs out playing video games at home like me. So I get it. I, I, I can appreciate that. Morgan, you're in. <laughs> I don't know if we can rename the guys. I don't think so. So, uh, well, whatever. I don't think, we're, I don't know if we're going to do a series on this anyway. Good, your workers will start coming in soon. All right, now we get to get... Now we need to get them to work on a project. Uh, click on the project man manager button, hotkey E. So yes, it will open up things with the tutorial as we go here, which is kind of nice. So the project, so to, we can start a new project and these are the different topics we can work on. And of course it tells us how much coding is gonna be evolved, how much art is gonna be involved, how much sound is gonna be evolved, how much writing is gonna be evolved. Like for example, adventure is gonna require a lot more writing than a shooter. So very different from Gabe Dev Tycoon where it doesn't really give you that information. You gotta kind of discover it. It tells you right away what you're gonna need, which is okay, I don't mind that. And of course, um, scale, scale requires workers. Currently you have two workers so you can only make micro scale games which also provide bonus XP. So micro scale means we ha have to have a team size of two. We can't have more than two working on a game. We can't have three, we can't have four, can't have one. We've got to have two. <laughs> but we get bonus like XP. Our guys get experience as they work on games. So we get bonus XP working on micro. Small would be a team size of four. Medium would be a team size of 10. Large would be a team size of 20. That's huge. And of course it tells us right off the bat how much a shooter game a micro shooter game at uh, would cost for initial cost would be $2,749, deluxe bucks, whatever you want to call it. And of course you can name the game, whatever. And also on the right side here, it tells you what is in, what is trending. So in other words, shooter games, which is at 60 right now, 60 hearts, 60 love. Um, and whereas, uh, let's see, let's see, simulation is at 49 hearts, which means shooter is, people are much more interested in playing shooter games right now. It's just more interesting. It's like right now, as far as I'm concerned, zombie games are dead. <laughs> Sorry, we've seen so many zombie games. That'd be like one on here for me, but whatever. Okay, so um, let's start off with something that is high on the list over the, on this side. Yeah, shooter, shooter is a good place to start. And of course, yeah, continue. Oops, click to continue. <laughs> Each genre has a bar indicating the amount of work needed for that particular task. So in other words, coding, that's how much work is gonna be needed. Uh, and of course, art, sound, and writing. Uh, and shooter games, for instance, require a lot of code, but not much writing. That's what I just said, thanks. <laughs> Pick a genre, write a name, uh, write a name and click continue. So we're gonna name our first game, um, Doom for Dummies. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, continue. And here's our two uh, employees, James and Morgan. Morgan is the guy that shows up late every day. Fantastic. Um, which actually does impact the game. It, it makes a difference. Um, okay, so here you select the team that will work on this project and which tasks each worker will do. So in other words, we can say that uh, James is gonna work on the code. Uh, oh, actually, let's click to continue because this is going to tell us how to do this. Select the tasks for each worker. Have one worker do code and sound, the other do art and writing. So yeah, pretty cool. So, and of course, because he's working on code and sound, of course, he's going to get experience in those two categories, but not in art and writing. You can have both your guys work on everything, but you're better off, of course, specializing. And later on, it becomes almost a requirement to specialize. So yeah, you're better off just better doing, you're better off doing that. So, all right, so, and, uh, so, very good. And we can hit continue, uh, sorting by hard date, whatever. Uh, nothing else here to note. So, best tool sets. We won't, we won't talk about tool sets quite yet. 
but these are the tools and eventually you get skills in like art so photoshop <laughs> f f o t o <laughs> mayans td uh, yeah so anyway you can get those skills but we don't have any of those right now so just create and it would cost more money to use those too oh uh what did I hit? Click to continue this. This tool selection screen, better tools yield better quality games. Tools require specialization. Your workers currently do not have, uh, have, ha your workers, your current, your workers currently do not have, so just click to create. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I can't talk. Congratulations, you just started your first project. Your workers will now get to work. You can click the buttons on the clock to speed up the time. Hockey's one, two, and three, which I will in a moment. We are going to, oh, there we go. So we're gonna hit two. So yeah, we have uh, four speeds paused slow, medium, and fast. Our workers show up in the morning and leave around 6 or 7 p.m. And uh, first thing they, oh, see, <laughs> buddy here, um, Morgan, hold on, this isn't, hold on, who is this? That's not Morgan. Hold on, pause for a second, who's this? That's Morgan. Who's this? How come I can't click on him? Oh, click to continue, that's why. During pre-production, the whole team will gather around the table and bounce ideas, bounce around ideas. I can't click on anything except for him right now. That's why. In the production phase, each team phase, each team member will go through, go to their workstation and complete their task after the production phase. Um, click on the project su summary button, hotkey Q, and here you can see the overview of your project. So right now they're just kind of hashing it out. They're deciding, well, what kind of code should we use? Should we do it in like Java, man? I don't know, but I think I'm going to use GIMP too. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how programmers talk. I don't know. I did do programming at one point, but. You don't know that. All right, here you can see an overview of your projects. Ha ha, I'll be back when the project is completed. So there we go. So pre-production, and this shows the quality. So right now we have seven stars, which is pretty terrible. <laughs> and now that they've done the uh, pre-production, they will actually go to their station and start working on their appropriate tasks. So in other words, I think Morgan is working on coding, and of course he's getting, uh, at least I think he, he was the one, I'm not sure who's working on what. But anyway, they will work on their appropriate task. And it looks like uh, already art's going a lot faster because there's a lot more coding to be done on this particular project because that's the nature of this particular project. And you'll also notice that the quality is going up as time goes on. Now we cannot work on any other projects while we are doing this until we get more people. And eventually, of course, like, like you saw before, we can have bigger projects. So uh, right now it's just a matter of waiting out the clocks. So we're just gonna speed that right up production oh he had to get water cooler get a drink <laughs> some of the guys you could get uh eat too much or spend too much time at the water cooler you know these are some awesome negative traits i haven't seen too many positive ones but i have seen a positive one and i don't remember what it was i think it was a quality thing um your project is finally complete and ready to be published click the publish button on the project summary panel so published and of course um, the published screen here you can view the final quality and choose your marketing budget since this project was made by an inexperienced team, it has low quality, of course. Always trying to match the marketing budget for a budget with a project with the project quality for this project, click none. Yeah, so if we marketed a project with only 26 quality, like later on in the game, like not even that far away, we'll be getting qualities of three, 400. So 26 is pretty low. And our competition, who's gonna appear on the in the game pretty quickly, is probably gonna come out with a game that's like at 100. So we wouldn't wanna market a game like that. We don't want anybody to know we made it, actually. It's embarrassing. We don't even wanna put our name on it. Now, every time you produce a game, just like in Game Dev Tycoon, you get ratings. So this means we've gained 18 fans, 18 love from the fans. I love, I love love from the fans. And of course you get reviewed by some of the most popular reviewers, Total Crumpet. Sound familiar? Yes, because it sounds a lot like Total Biscuit. And even the way that they word his lines here sounds like Total Biscuit. He's totally cynical. Like, it totally sounds like him. If you want a good game, Doom for Dummies is not for you. Use your $5 to buy something decent instead. It sounds like something that just came out of his mouth when I was listening to a podcast the other day. <laughs> and of course, VGN, TGN, this game represents everything that is wrong in the game industry. Stay away. So we're getting zero stars here. Boulder, pa Boulder Paper Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you think you've seen very bad, seen very bad game, oh, spelling, uh, seen very bad game, there is a, there's a worse one. Okay. A shooter and Coke, Kotaku says shooter games are usually good, but this, good Lord, don't even think about it. Okay. Assistant notes. If this, it's your first game, so don't worry about the scores. The more experienced your team is, the better the games they produce. There's no way you could do better on the first one. It's just, that's the way it is. Your game has been published and is generating revenue. Yay. We're making money. You can view the pro project stats on the stats window. Hotkey R. There we go. So we can see Doom for Dummies. You can select a specific game to view more detailed stats than close stats panel when you want to continue. I'm just going to pause it while we go over a couple things here. 
out. There we go. And okay, so Doom for Dummies, quality 26, age zero months. So as time goes on, of course, it'll make more money. Even Doom for Dummies will make money because it didn't cost us a lot of money to make. Now, if we made a quality 26 game with a big team around, that would be a big problem, especially because we'd have to charge more and nobody would buy it and we would not make money. So in this case, it's not so bad. So uh, the scale is 2749. That's what it's cost to just do the work, right? And that's not... In including wages. I think wages is a separate thing, but it says it's here. I don't know, but we could also polish the game, market it later on, um, and then our total revenue and everything. But we've got zero sales so far. We will get some sales on it, but nothing huge. And then there's all sorts of, there's graphs, and then of course you can look at your reviews again, which is awesome. We can close that. I've unlocked the build button, click it. Yes, this is where it starts to get really freaking cool, man. Now this is just the starting area. Eventually you can move to bigger areas where you can do way more stuff. Right now this is all you can do. So it wants, he wants us to build a training station. So the training station is used um, kind of like Game Dev Tycoon, where you could go and train, excuse me, to do di uh, learn different skills. So it's the same kind of thing. Now you'll teach you how to train your workers in specializations. A specialization allows your worker to better use tools that to better you better uh, specialization allows your worker to use better tools to do that particular task <laughs> he can still perform tasks that are not his specialty but he will not gain experience in those other tasks you'll only gain experience in whatever you specialize him in. if you specialize him in art that's all he can do is art that's well, it's not that it's not that all, that's all he can do that's all he gains experience on so we can leave build mode by clicking build mode again and uh then click on the build button again and select your training i don't know why it wants me to Oh, I see. Okay, whatever. So we cl click the uh, train worker thing here, and we can train somebody to get better at doing code work. So we can, uh, so we can say uh, we want James N, who doesn't have a penalty, because we may actually fire Morgan because he's got that. Uh, he comes in late every day. I don't really like that. Um, but we will train James to be really good at code. And it'll cost us 3,000 bucks and it'll give him United. So Unity, <laughs> the tool Unity. He'll be training in Unity. Now your worker will now start learning the new specialization. After he's done, you can use him to create a game with a newly learned tool. Uh, new Rival Studios opening next month. Click on the global charts button to view the global studio and game charts. This is something that Game Dev Tycoon didn't really have was um, other companies that you could compete with. I think there was actually mods and stuff that would uh, bring that in. Like they, they sort of subtly assumed that you're competing against other companies, but you never actually saw much of them. But I, yeah, like I said, I think there was mods or whatever. So now we can look at the, oh, no other studios have appeared yet. Um, it's just us so far. So up here it says, this is our fans, total 18 fans, 26 uh, uh, quality for our games average. Number of active games, one. Studio workers, two. Uh, studio awards, which become later, uh, really important later on, and bank 25,000, perfect. And that's it, one game. So it's saying that there's a new studio, but he's not out yet. So studio info, perfect. So t same information here. And we can take out a loan here. This is really important, of course, uh, because I do often go broke and need a loan. And you can't expand your build area until you hit San Francisco. So I don't know what's involved in that because I've never been there. So here you can view about your studio, get a loan and more. The Video Game Studio Award ceremony is held every year in January. Make sure you create the best games and clean up at the awards. They offer significant bonuses that will help immensely. Now, um, you can win awards for just having the most games produced. Uh, you can win awards for having the most staff. So you can win awards for more than just quality games. So, which is good. All right, so, uh, what? I don't know what the, oh yeah. Tutorial is saying publish another project. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, except, did he finish his training? No, he's actually just starting his training. And uh, no point in, yeah, I don't wanna hire this guy. He kind of kind of has that Total Biscuit look, doesn't he? The other guy looks like Total Biscuit too, except he's wearing kind of a casual shirt and the top hat. I don't know. I wish I was brave enough to do that kind of thing. So we'll speed it up over the nighttime. And of course, every day it gives you, or every day is a month. So every, yeah, every day is a month, your monthly report. So that's when you pay your salaries as well as your rent, um, cost for the size of your building, etc. cetera. Uh, whatever you spent for projects, consumables, building, training, etc., And whatever you made on your latest, pro on your projects, which is $370. So we actually did sell like, what? I don't know, 25, 30 copies of the game. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna make a lot of money. Oh, okay, so he's not that late today. So I guess that's sort of forgivable. Um, so first things first, let's see if we can hire somebody better. <laughs> Because I don't like that guy. Yeah, see, here we go again. So Frank here, uh, he's unfocused, produces worse quality. Absolutely not. Um, we've got uh, Sleepy, falls asleep randomly. 
Narcolepsy. Are you kidding me? Oh, cool outfit. He's even wearing uh, like a, one of those race hats. Awesome. And uh, Thirsty uses a water cooler often. That's not so bad, but I don't know. Whatever, that's fine. I'm happy with my two. Well, what we should do actually is we should hire another guy because he's going to be working on this training thing for a while. So let's hire another worker and start another project. But I'm okay with hiring... I'm okay with hiring the water cooler guy. It means he's gonna be visiting the water cooler more often, whatever. Um, what I'm actually going to do is move the water cooler and the fridge closer to the uh, to the work area, because that just totally makes sense. So we can actually go like this and we can move that over to here, move that over to here, and move the plants. Yeah, so the plants, environment matters and it affects the quality of the projects. And I will show you that in a second here. How do I, uh... let's see, I'm gonna move these two desks oh maybe that's a bad idea i don't know i'm gonna move these two desks down like this oh no that didn't work oh right because you can't yeah it's weird so you've actually got to move them all the way out and then oh no that didn't work either so i'm gonna move them all the way out and then like this because i want to just move them down one spot like so and then put a plant behind it so of course your environment matters and you can actually it's actually a stat you see on here so there's their hunger stat their thirst stat and their environment stat and their environment environment stat directly relates to how quickly and how much quality uh their work uh is so um it's really really important so we could actually add another plant right behind this desk and see how the color changes and it improves the environment and we could actually do uh, another plant over here yeah, I don't know. I'm already messing this up. Uh, no, actually, I'm okay with that. Uh, no, I don't want to fire him. No, sorry. Whoops. Uh, get out of build mode. All right. So worker cannot reach his location. What? What do you mean can't reach his location? Yeah, he's fine. Or maybe not. I don't know. Hold on. Let's let's move that. Just just. So that must be a bug because he was he, oh. It looks like it's backwards, but it's not. All right, so let's uh, see what happens here. Let's just turn off build mode. I haven't run into a lot of bugs in this game, so I'm not trying. It's it's weird to see any bugs because it's it's run flawlessly up to now. That's the first thing I've seen that's been kind of weird. So there we go, done, and we'll go out of build mode. Now we can actually start a new project because we've got a new guy, and uh, I don't know what he's going to be specialized in, but uh, we'll figure that out soon enough. So what's trending? Uh, adventure is kind of trending. That's at 76 or strategy i think we'll go adventure because that's ooh, lots of writing in that so somebody will get a lot of writing experience so continue it's going to cost us three thousand eight hundred eighty nine dollars it we're, we're called it's good the automatic name is just braid uh it's a terrible name whatever it's fine it's fine um i think we'll get lucas doing the writing so and we'll get uh morgan doing the art and then they can kind of double team the rest of it so they can both work on the code and they can both work on the music but morgan since he's already got a head start in art and uh, we'll get him doing that and then we'll specialize him in that so good and uh create good to go so we've got it they're gonna go do their pre-production thing we're gonna, gonna sit at the table and hash it all out <laughs> look they, they both kind of look like each other don't they they both very move very slowly too so let's uh speed this up a little bit have a drink at the water cooler. So yeah, they're uh, yeah whipping away. Yeah, they do get experience doing this pre-production thing too, which is kind of cool. Uh, wow, I think last time they only they only did ten last time, so they actually did worse this time. <laughs> so this guy, oh, uh, that water cooler thing might be a serious problem. You know, hold on. Uh, pause, 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 pause. What I'm gonna do? Uh, I think what we should do is move his desk over here. So let's let's do that. Uh, let's move. Buddy's desk. Let's move this desk over here and move this desk over here. Move this desk back here. Perfect. And that way, he's close to the water cooler. I think that's the way to solve that problem. Done. Done. Although that was very quick. Like, he, we just hired him, I think, didn't we? And then he's already at the water cooler? I don't know. He's going to the wrong desk. That's not your desk. That's not your desk, dude. That's okay. There he goes. <laughs> so they do go eat, too. Did you see that? I love the animation. It reminds me of uh, Prison Architect and RimWorld. I absolutely love the, the animation. It's pretty cool. Uh, this guy... Oh, he's done. He's got his specialization in code now. So we have a specialization in code. That's great. Um, so, yeah, they're just whipping through. Uh, art. Uh, writing is one that was going to take a long time. And, of course, Lucas is doing all the writing. He's going to get lots of experience in that. But as soon as, as, soon as Morgan's done here, we're going to get him on the training machine so he can specialize in art. And, uh, yeah, he's actually, he's got skill of 25 already. All right, so let's get you training in art. Oh, 
How come I can't? Oh, I can't trade. Oh, because the project's still active? That's silly. I think because he's got nothing left to do, he should be he should be done. So I can't actually train him until the project's done. That's weird. All right, so let's go. Uh, we're not making a huge amount of money, huge amount of money, but we did really, hey, we've made $3,990. So uh, for a game that was that bad, I don't know. Really, we made that much? Wow. Let's take a look at our numbers a little bit. What do you think? Uh, let's see here. So, oh, wrong one, not build mode. So uh, we've made 1,971 profit. Uh, so total of 4,900 revenue, we've sold Total sales of 980 copies. Wow, a thousand copies. That's pretty impressive. I guess if it was released on Steam for sure. Yeah, not bad at all. Oh yeah, we got a raft too. I love rafts. <laughs> um, there we go. All right, so do we have any competition yet? Oh, there we go. We've got some competition. So Vlampyr Studios. That's an interesting name. And they've got a, a fan base of 375 people. Oh, we're ready to publish. Sorry, I don't want to waste any time here. Publish, uh, uh, 34, it's better than last time. Last time it was 20 something, wasn't it? So, Just Braid the Adventure. Um, we got 24 fans. Total Crumpet said, Just Braid feels like a cheap cash in charging. A cheap cash in charging $5 for a very terrible experience. <sighs> got one star though. VGN, if you have five, he would never rate things though. That's the thing. And neither would uh, Kotaku would never rate things. Uh, they don't rate stuff. Um, but anyway, VGN, if you have to spend $5, $5 spend it on something other than this garbage. Ooh. Uh, Boulder Paper Shotgun said, just braid, just braid, just braid. Bloody awful, mate. Kok Kotaku said, games this bad should be illegal. Assistant notes, plan in advance which awards you would like to aim for. Well, we I don't know a lot about the, the awards yet, but uh, okay, let's see what games Vlampyr has produced. Oh, he's already produced two games. See, one of them is quality 129. Oh my God. It's a shooter. It's a first person shooter. We did not, I think that's a first person shooter. I don't know. Uh, let's just take a look. What kind of project is that? That is a action game. So he's been building action games. Not that popular, but if you're doing high quality. How many people, so we can actually, oh, let's keep this moving. Um, you can actually see how many people he's got in the studio and everything. So you get all sorts of good information. So he's got, only got two people. He's got uh, two games active that he's, he's produced and one of them, highest quality is 129. And lots of fans. Wow. Okay. So we, we have a lot where our work is cut out for us. All right. Let's get to it. Um, we need to... Oh, okay. So now we can train Buddy in... Uh, should we do the writing first? Less demand for writing. Let's do art. Yeah, let's do art for him. Train. Want to make sure we got that right. Yeah, we could get rid of Morgan because he's always going to be late, but whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with him. It's fine. I don't mind. All right. So, and we can start a new project. <laughs> I'm going slowly because, well, you know, you know, so that you guys can keep up. I'm sure you're keeping up just fine. All right. So this one's going to, ooh, okay. Let's see what's popular here. So we've got uh, Simulation 84. That's not bad. All right. So let's do that. Simulation. And we need a lot of code work, which is great because we've got a, we've got a code guy. And this is going to be pigs in space. Anybody remember Pigs in Space? Yeah, I love that show. Muppets, the Muppets were the best. All right, so you're gonna do all the code work, of course, because you're specializing in. He can do the other stuff, but uh, um, yeah, I think I think you'll do the writing and then you two can do the other stuff together. So I think that's good, there we go. It's good to try and get everybody finishing at the same time. So he's using Unity code, see? Yeah, now we get to actually use those skills, which is great. And so this one should be substantially better quality. So they're gonna go do the pre-production stuff. Awesome. Very good. Let's see who's for hire. So we can still hire one more guy. Oh, there we go. So this guy, uh, thirsty. And this guy, hungry. Regular trips to the fridge. They all have top hats. What's with all the top hats? Weird. I like his shirt, though. Dick, Dick B. 1,227. Hired. So now, technically, we could have two projects running at the same time. Two micro projects. Or we could have one small project. Um, there's going to be... Oh, we, uh, the tutorial is telling us to buy a plant. Let's buy a plant. Uh, let's put the plant right here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's nice. Nice. Actually, hmm. I wonder what would happen. <gasps> oh, didn't mean to sell it. I, oh, good. You get you get all your money back. So you can s buy and sell plants for same price. So that's all right. Uh, I just want to see what the quality is like. If we did like four. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's beautiful. Uh, do we have enough money? Yeah, let's, let's plant it up, man. Plant it up. Get some plants in here. Yeah, there we go. There, that that's that's substantial plant plant matter. Perfect. And look at how green that is. Very nice. Excellent. All right, let's get out of build mode and speed it up a little bit. Pre-production pigs in space. Awesome show. The Muppets were the best. I think they're bringing back the Muppets, aren't they? I don't know. I heard something about that. And I heard Kermit the Frog has a new girlfriend. I don't know. Crazy stuff. 
Um, continue. So we've made 5,460 now with our two games, which is awesome. And uh, let's just pause while I go through all of the uh, stuff here. So money totals, so we've lost It's 12,000 was our cost. Wow, crazy. Uh, 20, 2015 award ceremony will be held in one month. Might as well keep that going. Um, and these are all just objectives. We're making tons of money just from the objectives. The tutorial kind of really hands you a lot at, in the campaign. At the beginning, like you make uh, you make a lot of money for completing the little quest things, like twenty thousand to yeah, ridiculous. Um, so yeah, uh, it's I I, I kind of bothered me. I did try I did quit the tutorial on the last game that I was playing, and then sorry I'll keep that going. Um, I quit the tutorial on the last game I was playing because I thought it was ridiculous how much money I was getting for free, and I like a little bit of a challenge, right? But you still can do these things. Like, I don't know if you can turn that off at all. Maybe the challenges, you can turn that off. And that's why I've tried playing it hard too, because I thought that might make a difference, but no, it doesn't. All right, so uh, they are still, okay, they're done pre-production. Pre-production's already up to 15, that's really good. So they can start working away, and I think, yeah, he's still learning Photoshop. Uh, Dick B is still, was it Dick B? Who's learning Photoshop? I think it's Morgan. Well, Morgan is learning Photoshop. That's awesome. Let's speed it up here. So while they work on this one, it does get more interesting, guys. I promise. Um, but it's still, you know, it's it's a simple game. It is a simple game, but there is a lot to it. Especially, like, at the beginning, it's, it's really simple. But it does get far more complex. When you've got an entire team of people, it does start to feel a little bit like Software Inc. Like, I've seen some of the games that people play on YouTube with Software Inc. They've got an entire crew of people in and it's gonna be like that it's oh wow 57 that's not bad it's better than what we've had anyway we've got to actually we used unity this time so that's a big deal 40 fans yay total crumpet five dollars is somewhat reasonable price for picks in space which is somewhat which is a somewhat reasonable title it sounds like him doesn't it two and a half stars bgn poor mechanics poor gameplay horrible aesthetic pins in space is a disaster wow these guys are hard to please uh with a budget like this you would expect pins in space to come out good right wrong two stars uh, clearly this project had no direction whatsoever. Everyone behind Pigs in Space should be fired. <laughs> Get your workers trained on better tools for better results. We're working on it. We could actually have a second training device. Oh, keep everything moving here. I'm hoping to do a small project. Um, what we could do... Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. You know what? We've got enough money. Let's build another training device. Yeah, the training cubicle. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good place for it, though kind of in the way. We also need to build a second table so that we can actually get the team together to build games together. Yeah. In other words, so uh, when you have four people, you have to have a bigger table, right? To do your pre-production stuff. So there we go. And let's get, let's see, can we train somebody? Uh, let's get uh, no spec. So he can do writing train. Yes. Now uh, that means we can't actually do a project, I think, because we've got everybody used up, I think. New project. I don't think... Hold on, I'm just testing it. Oh, we, we can? Oh, yeah, because the other guy's done his training. Okay, cool. Okay, so we can actually... Uh, let's train the other guy then. Um, So we've got... Hold on, we've got... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I have to keep track of who's got what. So we've got... Uh, I think we need a sound guy. That's what we need. We For sure we need a sound guy, because I know we don't have one. We've got code, we've got art, we've got sound, and then writing. Perfect, done. Excellent. So those two are going to train, and we'll do one more small published game. We get lots of experience for it, so it's it's worth doing them. Um, I'm not even paying attention to the names of the games. Wow, this is going to be an expensive one. Holy crap! All right, so strategies right up there. I, you'd probably be it'd probably be beneficial to keep doing the same games, kind of like Game Dev Tycoon. If you kept doing the same kind of genre, uh, just in terms of experience, that way you, it's more focused experience. Uh, racing. We're going to call this uh, Mad Rob instead of Mad Mad Max Mad Rob. Sorry, I've been playing Mad Max a lot. Uh, Mad Rob. Um, you're going to work on code, you're going to work on art, and you two can work on the other stuff together. So there we go. Continue. Excellent. And uh, we're going to use Photoshop and we're going to use Unity. Awesome. Create. And it's going to cost a lot of money to get that going, but that's okay. We're going to speed it up. <sighs> I have no idea how long I've been recording this video. Not a clue. We're going to keep going until we do a small, a small project because that's where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. Actually, I'd really like to get relocated before I quit, but... Video Game Studio Awards, Deluxe Gaming and Vlampyr. How? And that's Total Biscuit. Total Crumpet. Here we are to celebrate the year's best studios by granting them our very prestigious awards. Most productive studio is given to the studio with most releases. Uh, most productive studio, and it'll give us cheaper wages if we win it. Most releases. Most productive studio award goes to... Deluxe Gaming! Yay! 
Okay, so that means our wages are, we're gonna ha we're not gonna pay as much in wages. That's fantastic. Most beloved studio is given to the studio that has the most fans. That is definitely not gonna go. Can we? I wonder if I can speed it up. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, Vlampyr, Vlampyr got that one. That means they get specialization discounts. Uh, highest charted game is given to the studio with the highest rated game. That would be Vlampyr. They get employees work faster. Oh, that's not good to give to the competition. Yes, lamp here. Yes, number one. Ah, highest revenue studio is given to the studio that managed to get the most revenue this year. Mm, I don't think we got that. We produced more games, but I think that one game produced way more than ours. Lamp here. Ah, oh, disappointing. We didn't do very well. Largest studio is given to the studio who hires the largest team in the industry. That one we get to win, and we get a sales boost from that. I don't know exactly what that means. Oh, sales boost for our games. Oh, that's cool. Largest studio goes to Deluxe Gaming. Yay! That's all for this year's edition, and we wish the best of luck to all the studios and hope to see them again in 2016. I wonder if it actually uh, keeps track of that year. So when I'm playing this in 2018, is it going to tell me? I bet you. I wonder. Or maybe, oh, it's probably 20. Yeah, okay, the game's still in 2016. All right, so away we go. Um, these guys are going to finish training. They are doing the pre-production on Mad Rob. They've started working on that. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, it's going to be a good game. They're already up to 52. This is going to be our best game yet. Best game yet. Uh, oh, only 59. I expected something better. Oh, well, that's okay. Mad Rob. Uh, no marketing, please. Uh, plus 41 fans. Mad Rob is nothing outstanding, but it's entertaining. Oh, all right. Uh, two and a half stars. VGN, don't expect anything good to come out of Mad Rob. It's one of the worst games around. Could have been could have been good, but nope. Uh, this is just amazing in a terrible way. Asking $5 for Mad Rob, Rad Rob is highway, highway robbery. If you can't place a fridge and a water cooler near your workers, maybe it's best to use the movement speed bonuses. Huh? If you can't place a fridge and water cooler near your workers, maybe it's best to use the movement speed bonuses. I don't know what that is. Is that a thing? I, I have no idea. Uh, let's keep this moving. Um, we should be able to do a small project. Ooh. Do we have enough? Uh, let's just check our, our money. Let's see what kind of money we're making here. So, uh, phew. actually, let's look at this one. Right, so, oh, Mad Rob costs us a lot of money to make. Uh, costs us 8,000 in wages, uh, 8,900 just, just to build it because we used uh, Unity and Photoshop and uh, yeah, it costs us a lot of money and we've, we've got to make a lot of money back on it. And I think we will make money back on it, but it's going to take time. I think we could probably just skip ahead until he's done learning Trotopes, then we can do a small project just so I can show that off. Hopefully we'll do better. Oh man, we've got to wait until the next day. <sighs> okay, so here we go. Uh, salaries, 10944 We got a reduction in our salaries because we won that. We, we won that award. We made 20000 That's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Made extremely good small games. Might be better than uh, bad large games. Awesome. Great. Super. Awesome. Great. Uh, monthly total. All right, so there we go. We're all ready to go. Let's build a small game. Yay! So we are going to new project, and we're going to build a small game. We're going to find something that's really popular, like puzzle. A puzzle game. I'm not a big fan of puzzle games, sometimes. You know, when you want to just veg on the iPad or something, but I don't know, I'm not really, you know, sometimes. Um, we're gonna call it Rob's, Rob's. Hold on, no, 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 no. <laughs> Deluxe and Ladders. <laughs> so, yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, uh, Deluxe and ladder, Ladders puzzle game. And now we get to use everybody's special ability. Look at this, beautiful. That way, and we don't want them mixing and matching with, like, we don't want our uh, people that don't have the sound ability uh, or the sound skill, of course, working on sound because they're not, we're not going to get as good a quality out of it. Although our sound guy isn't that great. So that was, what, that wasn't a, a good example, but you get the idea, right? Uh, right. Okay. So continue. Every, we're going to use Unity, Photoshop, uh, Trout Loops. Not sure what Trout Loops is. And WordPod. <laughs> Uh, create. Oh, uh, what did I miss? We don't have enough money. Oh, no. Okay, can I take a loan? Hello? Loan. Manage? Nope. Oh, man. Okay, how to... I forget how to take a loan. I know it's around here somewhere. Studios? Nope. Uh, studio info. Here we go. Taking out money. Yes. Uh, because we're going to make the money back. Uh, 30 payback... <laughs> $20,000 loan payback. 30 over 12 months. That is highway robbery. That's 50% per year who's the bank oh my god I'm, i want to invest in the bank actually okay so we took out two loans just to be sure and now let's go back again uh new project and we're gonna do puzzle again and what did we say we said deluxe and ladders <laughs> uh 
Oh, let's make sure time is stopped while we're doing this. Deluxe and ladders. Ah. <laughs> 63,000, um, but it goes up substantially when we start uh, using their specialties. That's where we make the difference, right? In cost. So there we go, there we go, that's good. I think, 63,000. Okay, now, see, watch, 9,000 for Unity, uh, 6,000 for Photoshop, 4,500 for Trout Loops, and 3,000 for WordPod. Crazy. Okay, so it'll, uh, create 86,000 to put this thing together. Wow. Okay, so now we can go here and we can watch them uh, work on the pre-production. They're all going to go to the table. Very cool. So yeah, the game just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, publish a small scale project. We can actually even start building our building a little bit now. We can actually add to the building. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Neat. So we can, uh, I think we, I think we just sell those parts. I think. Remove buildings. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we get all the money back too. So it's not like the Sims where you lose that, lose all that money, right? Uh, there we go. Done. Made our building bigger, just like that. We can actually move that table and stuff and make this a little bit more friendly because it's a little cramped in here. I'm, I'm assuming that later on you can also upgrade these because, yeah, see, you can upgrade the water cooler. Um, looks like uh, unlocks in Vancouver. Something about speed and uh, thirst decay. Reduces thirst decay or uh, works makes people work faster. So, yeah, you can upgrade these once you get to different cities. I've never been to a different city. So, yeah, they're working on their pre-production. Uh, let's... I'm just curious. I'm sure they all get... Oh, they don't get experience in anything other than what their specialization is. So let's just speed this up and let them do that. But yeah, we're already up to 32. So I'm kind of hoping for a big a hit here. We need we need something that's like two, 300 would be really nice. Um, and being that it's it's a popular game, hopefully it stays popular. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. I'm just curious. New project. Oh, oh it's still 100. Okay, good. Whew. Okay. Ah, we made 29,000. That's not bad. Uh, we lost a lot of money there. Ooh, wow. 86, 86,000 for that project. Holy crap. Okay, so let's just push through this. I know we're, we're pushing hard. I know this is going to be a long video. I know it's going to be a long video, but uh, you know, it is what it is. And yes, we have to wait for, who is it? Morgan that's late every day. We have to wait for him before we can actually, they won't do anything until he's here. Oh, it's ridiculous. All right. So everybody's working on their respective project. Let's just speed it up. Look at this, already over 100. Fantastic. Yay! They're eating, drinking, doing all that kind of good stuff. Oh, fantastic. And, and when they're done work, they sleep. <laughs> it's okay, if you, get to, if you get work done early, that's fine. I don't mind that. That's, oh, come on, it's gonna take more than one day. We're already up to 246, where our income is coming down now because games are running out of, they're no longer in style. They're no longer, you know, the thing. Yeah, they were never that good anyway. So we need to get this game produced. And I bet you, oh, this is going to be a hit, man. It's going to be over 300. Oh, yes, over 9,000. It's going to be over 9,000, guys. Seriously, over 9,000. For those of you that get that, well, you are my best friend. All right, and, oh, see, release is down to 16,000. Wow, this is, wow, we're, oh, I hope we don't run out of money. This is what happens in video game companies. They end up overextending themselves. And, of course, come on, dude. Finish it up. Finish it up. Just the art guy, waiting for the art guy. 378! <gasps> Crazy! Here we go, we're publishing it. We are going to do... Oh, we don't have enough money. Should we take out a loan and market it too as well? That seems like a lot of money. Hmm. I'm gonna... <laughs> it's probably a total mistake, but I, 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 didn't, I haven't tried this yet. We're gonna try it. Uh, how did we do that again? This one. We're gonna take out another 20,000, costing us a lot of money to do this. So, uh, <laughs> publish, we're going to market it, do some small marketing for $43,138. <sighs> that hurts. Oh, cri uh, critical, critical darling, achievement unlocked. All right, critical, Deluxe and Ladders, 165 fans. Oh, here we go. Total Crumpet. The, to the studio behind Deluxe and Ladders is clearly filled with exceptional individuals. This is a masterpiece. Wow. From Total Biscuit. Wow. Uh, VGN says $15 maybe. Oh, we get to charge more for it too as well. $15 may, may be a lot for, the for this. It really brings nothing new to the table. Ouch. I throw my hands up in the air and say, Ayu, Deluxe and Ladders is great too. <laughs> um, and in the puzzle genre, people have come to expect a certain degree of quality, which Deluxe and Ladders does not provide. Ow! Ow! Um, okay, uh, make sure you match your marketing budget with the game quality. Dumping loads of money on a subpar game will not help, so I hope that wasn't considered a subpar game. We got a good, you know, if Total Biscuit says it's good, it's gotta be good, right? Uh. 
Um, I guess, I don't know, but uh, should we take a quick look at the budget here? Uh, I don't know if we're gonna see anything happen immediately. I know we should be working on projects while we're waiting. Uh, let's see here, games. Uh, so yeah, we get to charge $15 for this. And uh, actually, let's, nope, 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 this one. And I bet you as soon as it does really well, like we'll probably get to move to a different studio or something. Sorry, I'm, I can't find the right graph here. This is the one I want. So we've already sold 1,500 units. Yeah, we're selling like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I wish it had the graph like they did in uh, Game Dev Tycoon, where it just had the bars. Um, whereas this one, it always zeroes out for some reason. So this is where it's at, really. They don't need this line. That other line is not necessary. So we've made 59,000. We are actually making money. And anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick look. Actually, it wasn't really a quick look. This is probably a super long video, but I hope you enjoyed this look at, um, what's this called again? <laughs> <laughs> um, game, game Corp DX, I think is what it is. Anyway, fun game, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, check it out. It's worth a total of like two dollars and fifty cents, depending on which region you hail from. But uh, totally worth the two dollars and fifty cents that you spend on it. It's, it looks like it's gonna be uh, just a blast and something you sit down and just, you know, have have some S and S and G with, right? So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.